Hey God peeps, welcome back to Snail TV. We have parts are up for the half a booster. Um, no time spared, I'm just too excited. We need to get these on. Uh, we have everything. I just need a couple of lines. Uh, sh the shops are open today, so I should be able to get that stuff as well. So let's um, bang all the lines on and let's see if we can get some water breaks and um, uh, clutch happening. And uh, we'll actually be able to take it for a spin. So. Yeah, as I said, no time wasted guys, let's get it done. So first proper test drive, just took it out and um, needs a little bit more tuning into it. Obviously I can't do like open throttle right now. I've still got anti-lag on it right up top anyway. So, but uh, it drives good. I've got clutch. So I got clutch last night. Um, yeah, so I need to hook up brakes. Obviously I've got no way of stopping. I've just, I've just been stopping with gears. Selects gears nicely. Um, as I said, clutch is all sweet. And um, I finally got the cooling system all right. Uh, last night I tried to, um, I had a tiny little leak, so I had to quickly take a few things apart just to get to it. Um, and uh, one of the O-rings just was a bit squashed. Um, as I said, I've never taken it apart. I've never seen this thing where I'm actually running with water. Um, so I did that first, and then uh, put it back together and um, started it, but uh, just wasn't getting uh, water through like the radiator was wasn't getting wasn't getting hot at all it was like the water pump wasn't working uh took the water pump off and yada 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 so and so but um it just turns out that obviously it was just a bit 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 too much air in the system uh made up my home depot uh uh like pretty much just air bubbler just to get rid of you know just a um a radiator fill you know a big neck so it goes to the top uh, once I did that and bled and got a few bubbles out, um, I, it gurgled quite a bit and then um, yeah, it was uh, flowing really, really nicely. So uh, cooling system's good now, obviously, and so I pretty much just have to uh, pretty much put the wideband on it, uh, go through the laptop a little bit and just make sure, turn the fuel down. So this has actually got exactly the same tune as what the booster has. Uh, obviously it's a half the, half the size engine. 
Um, it starts at awesome. As soon as it gets warm, uh, then it's all out of parameters. So, yeah, well, we will. Now I need to get brakes first. So I need to get some lines today to finish off the brakes. Um, I just managed to scrape around a couple of fittings last night just to get the clutch to work, but and bleed the and bleed the clutch. But um, yeah, just need brakes. I need to stop. So I've got a little bit uh, hairy at the top and uh, right around the corner. Uh, I was going a little bit too fast, and yeah, just. Obviously, let clutch out and it stopped me a bit, but it drives nice. Uh, turning's good. It's as I said, when you drop, when you're driving, the turning's good. Obviously, not when you're standing still. It doesn't really turn much because it's a it's a go kart front. But really, really happy with it, guys. Um, on still on methanol, guys. So uh, yeah, everything's also sweet. I'm uh, pretty sure it's got methanol still in there. I've just got to double check. I've got methanol. Um, but yeah, as I said, just got to go over the tune. Make sure everything's 100 percent and I'll take it back out a bit later. But uh, I really wanna leave that for this time. Um, next episode, I will get that all stuff done. Uh, I've got to buzz around, I'm pretty busy today. I'm just doing a few things and getting other things done and a couple more stuff for you. But um, real happy with it, it actually is riding now. I can actually start it up right now, take it out the front with clutch, as I said. And um, yeah, it actually rides. So really happy with that. And obviously, it's got now it's got cooling system in it, so it doesn't, it won't, it don't need to shut it off really, really quick, smart. But half a booster is good. Um, as not many of you guys have known, um, the half a booster is called half a booster because it is a 650 cc. The um, the higher booster is a 1300 half a 1300 650 so that's what we pretty much named it half a booster if anyone didn't know that's all uh, i had a guy message me saying why did you name it that so so he was explaining it to everyone i thought i'll just explain it to you guys now obviously a lot of you guys probably would understand that anyway but um so it is a gs 650f all right so it's not a kick sir um yeah this is more of like the touring bikes um Correct me if I'm wrong. All right, so I don't think it was a sports bike as such, um, but it was in a quad. You guys seen the quad? I'm gonna pop some pictures up. Obviously, you'll see some pictures come up on um, on Insta and Facebook of what it actually used to look like. Uh, I never used none of the frame on that. Um, we pre all I pretty much did was take. I just needed somewhere to start, guys. All right, so I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. I know I wanted a quad, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. Uh, it turns out I just yeah just got a go kart frame and modified the frame and actually mounted it in that and then mounted it on yeah and then just yeah just kept piling parts onto it until it made it into a quad. Um, as I said, the seat is removable to get to the tank. Look back through the builds, guys. You'll see all the parts and all the stuff there. Um, when this is finished, I'll go through a full build video of this thing for you as well, um, just to show you exactly what I've used. Uh, yeah, but really happy with it guys. Uh, obviously, thank you very much for liking and subscribing and obviously, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. See ya peeps.